Hi, and welcome to Section 4, Resources Discovery. In the previous section, we saw how to write our own crawler using Python and the Scrapey library. In this section, we're going to learn what resource discovery is and why it is useful when testing a web application. We're going to start by creating our own brute forcer with Python and requests library, and then we will improve our brute forcer in order to get better results. Finally, we're going to take a screenshot of the resources detected. Let's get on with the first video. In this video, we're going to learn what is resource discovery and why it is important when testing web applications. Also, we're going to introduce FuzzDB, which is going to be used in the next videos as our dictionary database. Again, remember in section one, where we learnt about penetration testing process? In the process, the second phase was mapping. In the mapping phase, we need to build a map or catalog of the application pages and functionalities. In the previous sections, we learned how to perform application mapping using a crawler. We also learned that crawlers have some limitations. For example, links generated with JS are not identified by crawlers. This could be overcome by using HTTP proxies or using a headless browser like PhantomJS. Still, if we use all those, we're going to identify all the resources that are linked somewhere in the web application. But my personal experience has shown me that we can find many resources that are not linked. In order to discover these, we need to perform resource discovery via dictionaries of known words. These kind of tools are known as dictionary attacks. Basically, because we're going to use a list of known words in order to identify the resources. Brute forcing, because we are using brute force in order to identify resources when using a list of permutations or combinations of strings. Fuzzing, not really correct, but many times used to refer to resource discovery. What can we find using this technique? Files, such as backup files, test files, notes, scripts, documentation, and examples. Directories, such as admin interfaces, backups, internal areas, upload directories, actions. Whenever there are verb names in options or parameters, we can use dictionary of similar words to identify other functionalities. Servlets which are similar to actions, but with file. Parameters. We can enumerate ranges or combinations of potential valid strings used in parameters. In order to be successful when we are doing resource discovery, you need to have good quality lists. There are many dictionary databases where you can find many word lists appropriate for different environments or scenarios. FuzzDB is one of the most used and complete databases available on the internet. We are going to use it in our next video. For resource discovery, we're going to focus on the Predictable Resource Locations Dictionary. I recommend you take a look at it in our virtual machine under the code samples for this section and get familiar with the different dictionaries or string lists available. In this video, we learned what resource discovery is and why it is important when testing the security of a web application. In the next video, we'll start developing our own brute forcer. Let's get ready.